folks, thanks for joining me today. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing this wonderful kit for any painters. Now I got this from a friend of mine. She gifted it to me and I thought a best way to say thank you is to showcase it. So it comes in a very nice pink case and it has little slots for all of your paint brushes everything that you can imagine that you need to use and it has dotting tools all built in one folds up into a nice little case to be kept clean you've got the clear plastic that comes over top there i'm doing the vanna white <laughs> but the clear plastic comes over top and keeps everything clean and then it folds up and clasps together so nicely for easy storage I will leave a link in the description below for the gel moment so that you can go and get your own. So now we're going to start with the tutorial today. So I have a rock that I made from the Happy Dotting Company. Um, well, the mold that I got from the Happy Dotting Company. And I let it cure for about a week before I started to paint. Gave it a prime coat of white and the back side is black. So then I used my compass and I drew a circle onto the uh, center of the rock. And with the Happy Dotting Company, if you're not familiar with their, their product, when you do a mold, there is a little bump that is in the very center of the rock. So you do not have to find the center. It's already there for you. So in most of my rocks, what I do is I shave it off with just like um, an X-Acto knife or something like that. You can even pick them off sometimes with your fingernail. Uh, but it's there for me to be able to find the center so that I can draw a perfect circle on it. And that's exactly what I use it for. And you can still kind of see it in the middle, but once you've resined it and you've got all of your coats of paint on top of it, you don't even see it. So you don't even really need to remove it, but sometimes I do. So I started off with um, doing the circle and I started to paint a purple color and that is purple pizzazz. And then I threw on top while the purple was still wet, some bubblegum pink. And now I'm going in the opposite direction and I just put it on very sloppy. I didn't blend it in or anything. Um, and now I'm throwing in a little bit of white from DecoArt. So I'm doing this because I want to get like a streak effect. And if any of you have been around for a while and you've watched a lot of my tutorials, I love to play with the background. I feel that it is just as important as the foreground or the design that you're putting on top of the uh, background that you're doing. So I like to play around with different, different techniques, different types of paint, um, and just to see what I can get. And it's always an experiment. And the nice thing about it is if it doesn't work out the way you want it to, let it dry, paint over top of it and start again. So that's one of the really cool things with acrylic paint. And you could probably do it like the next day. Let it dry completely so you don't have any wet spots or any damp spots and then you can repaint it. So now I am doing the outside of the rock um, with the black paint because I want to do like a, a really neat border on this. So while the center part is still drying, that's when I do um, the black that goes around uh, the outside. So it covers up all of the white, gives me a nice crisp circle, and I can put my design on it once it's dry. And this just allows so that the rock continues black from the outer edge all the way down and around to the back. Um, and now what I'm doing is I am bringing that purple pizzazz back in and I'm just doing around the edges because I, I lost the majority of that color and I really liked it, especially when it dries. I find that a lot of acrylic paints will dry a shade or two darker. So just keep that in mind. Um, I, but I was very disappointed that I lost all of that because of all of the other fun stuff I was doing with the background. So I wanted to bring that color back in just on the edge. So I'm just using one of the brushes from this kit. So you'll, you will notice that 
in this in entire tutorial, everything that I use is from this kit that was uh, gifted to me. And uh, there's a quick view uh, where the paint is now dry and it's actually a little bit darker. And that's okay with me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but the, uh, the white really stands out once it's dry. You didn't see it as well when it was wet, so now it's really come out. So if you saw the uh, thumbnail at the beginning of the video or what made you to click on this to watch it, um, we are going to be painting a little puppy dog. So, you know, the, the old um, song, uh, how much is the doggy in the window? That's totally what I was thinking of when I was painting this. And this is a design that I've been wanting to paint for a while. I've just been so busy with so many other things I never got a chance to. But I thought it was a perfect opportunity to showcase all of the brushes and the dotting tools within the kit that was gifted to me on this particular um, uh, rock and, and the design. So it kind of pushed me to do this one. So I kind of wanted him to be like a beagle puppy, um, but he didn't really turn out that way. And that's okay, he's still cute. And I'm very happy with uh, how he came out. Now he does have a bit of a sad face on him when he's done, but that's because he hasn't been adopted yet. So that's why he's sitting in the window and is waiting to be adopted. So he's looking a little sad, you know, the puppy dog eyes and yeah, you all know what I'm talking about. So now I'm just using um, different shades of brown. So I'll go over what I've been using. So I've used um, raw sienna as the main color of the puppy. Um, and then I went in with some spice tan and then I threw in a little bit of white into the spice tan to make it a little bit lighter. So that's what I'm using right now um, just to give it some light and the, the darker brown is the, uh, the shadow parts. Um, I will be outlining this guy completely in black uh, as I do with a lot of my other tutorials. Um, but he is just so darn cute and uh, I really like how he turned out. So let me know in the comments below. Um, maybe you've got a little story about um, a little puppy that uh, um, really touched your heart. Uh, or if um, you've got a, a dog now that's your best friend. Um, I just, I can't imagine my life without a dog. I've always had a dog. Um, and it is very tough when, um, when they take that, uh, take that last journey to go to the rainbow and uh, play forever and ever. And uh, even though it leaves an emptiness in your heart, you know that they gave you everything they had while they were here with you. So that's what makes them so special. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I just don't want to get too emotional. Um, but this guy, um, I really wanted him to have like those great big puppy dog eyes and that's why I gave him such a, a big brow there. So that will end up being his eyebrow and, uh, I'm just doing his eye in kind of layers. Uh, so I did a sort of like a, a crescent moon shape there and while that's drying, I'm doing his nose and, uh, his other eye that is on the other side of his face that we can't really see that well. Um, again, I'm not very good with symmetrical things when it comes to eyes and things like that. Um, you may have heard me say that before in other tutorials, but it's true. I am very terrible at um, making sure that the eyes are at the same level or the same shape or <laughs> even the same size. So... That's why I like doing these ones sort of on the side because then you only have to get one eye perfect. The rest, you know, doesn't have to be. So I just continued on um, with a little bit lighter shade of the spice tan. I just added a little bit more white to it to make it really light brown. And now I'm just going around and um, giving him some more color, some more definition. Um, that little stripe that goes up between his ears from his uh, snout there, a little bit of wrinkles. 
and just really making him look really cute. For a full list of all of the colors, you can go to the description that's listed below. I do have all of the colors listed along with their um, the brand name and their actual paint name for from that brand so that if you wanted to do something uh, that has the same coloring, uh, then you'll have that. But let me just say, please use what you've got in your stock. There's so many colors that you can mix together and you get so many different colors within the rainbow. It's just amazing. So that's what I do for the majority of mine. I just use whatever I have in stock and I mix them together. So um, I do have my favorites that I use over and over and I have to go back and buy more. But I'm just saying that, you know, make this your own. You don't even have to do like the pink and purple background. Do it as like a blue green or just a solid color altogether. You don't even need to, to do the background this way. Um, just make it yours. I'm just here for uh, inspiration and to provide any tips and tricks that maybe you did or did not know of. So that's my goal is to make sure that you get something out of the tutorial. So having said that, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I invite you to please subscribe. If you like the video, give me that thumbs up and don't forget to ring the bell because that will tell you every time I upload something new. And don't forget to check the description below where I have loads of information. I've got the paint colors, I've got the tools, uh, places to get them, um, all sorts of wonderful uh, information and links to things like my Etsy shop or my Facebook page, um, Instagram, all of that kind of stuff is all listed up in the description below. So make sure you go and check that out as well. Um, I will be putting uh, new stuff into my Etsy shop um, no later than Friday. So, and I'm also working on another tutorial that I hope to have done and ready to go for you on Friday. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah. I think that you'll be um, very happy with it. Um, it's going to be another uh, mandala, um, a dotted uh, design, uh, but it's going to be really cool. I think you're going to really like it, and I really hope that you give it a try. I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to uh, spoil the surprise of what it's going to be. So um, I'm, I'm back at the... Uh, doing the outline here on this uh, really sad looking pu puppy dog but um, just sort of making it a little bit darker in areas uh, to give it the definition of 3D I guess or to show that like that what I'm doing right there is like that little wrinkle in the ear um, and I wanted him to have kind of like a black tip now, when I did the eye, uh, a lot of the first white that I had applied got covered up. So now I'm just cleaning it up and I'm just doing some other, uh, like these are your little white bloops that give the illusion of that there's light shining in their eyes. I find this really gives it definition like, oh my gosh, look at him now. Just by putting in a couple of dashes of white and he's so darn cute. Um... So uh, now I'm just outlining a little bit of the eye just to give him a little bit more definition. Um, and uh, I really like how the background turned out and it really makes him or her uh, really stand out. And that's what I was going for. So now I'm uh, trying to figure out what do I want to do here? Did I was thinking, should I put a collar on them? But usually collars aren't on dogs that you're about to adopt. So I thought, no, we'll just put a little, little bit of his neck there. And then I gave him that little sad mouth. And uh, now I'm just doing some highlights on his um, nose. And now I'm going to do the uh, border. So you have seen me before, uh, if you've been around for a while, you've seen me use this before. This is a um, grid template that is made specifically for these 
uh, stones. So you can get them from the Happy Dotting Company. And now this dotting tool that I'm using now was not included in the, the kit that I was gifted by Gel Moment. Uh, these I got from the Dotting Center. And again, the link is in the description below. I love these tools. They are absolutely my amazing. My go-tos for bigger dots, I just love them. They're perfect every single time. And I just, they're amazing. So they're always on my desk ready to go. And now what I'm doing is I'm making a heart out of dots. And this is from a dotting tool that came with the kit. So I put one dot there, another one dot right, right beside it touching. And then I use the other end of it and I bring it down to a point. And it makes a little heart. So here it is again. I pull them down to the point and it's a little heart. Isn't that so cute? And it's so easy to do. And it just really sets this off. And I really wanted to bring back the pure color of the purple pizzazz and the pure color of the bubble gum pink. So that's what I did for the border. And I did this all the way around. And I, you did notice that I used uh, a General's Charcoal Pencil, which is actually really small. I don't even think I can get it into the pencil sharpener anymore. So I will have to find another one. Um, but uh, I like using that because it wipes off so easy uh, just by using a damp cloth or you can even use an eraser. I'm just about finished with using my new tools that I received from my friend Judy from Gel Moment. I will leave a description um, and a link in the description below. Uh, so that if you want to get your own, you can certainly go to her site and order it from her. Um, but again, I'm just using the, uh, the small dotting tool from that kit and putting on some white dots to finish it off. And I let it dry, give it a coat of resin, and it's done. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it. So get creative.